everybody, Mrs Canara here. Today we're going to be looking at our English assessment for term two. We will be looking at a persuasive text about social distancing. This is what your English assessment will look like. Don't worry, I will take you step by step through the assessment just like we do in class. If my instructions are going too quickly, remember that you can pause and rewind so you can listen to the instructions again. This is your stimulus page. On this page you'll find information about social distancing. You would to use the information on this page as well as the diary that you have been keeping and any relevant newspaper articles or news reports to write your text. At the top of your sheet, please write your full name, your class, and the date. Your task is to examine the messages in the stimulus provided about social distancing. From that, you are to write a persuasive text expressing your opinion about social distancing and whether you think it should continue. Do you think we should return to school, camping, parties? Or should we continue with social distancing until the virus is gone or a cure is found? You may use your diaries about how social distancing has affected the life of your family. You may also use what you have heard on the news and in the media as evidence to back up your arguments. This is your stimulus page. You can use the information that is displayed on this page to help you with your persuasive text. You can also use the diary that you've been keeping about social distancing and the coronavirus and how it's affected your family and how you've been feeling. You can also use media such as news reports or newspaper articles to help provide evidence for your text. Just like at school, this assessment has a success criteria. You will be successful when you can use this structure for your persuasive text. Your persuasive text must include a title to capture the reader's attention. So different types of text you could choose from is a newspaper article, a letter, an advertisement, but it must include five paragraphs in total. An introduction with a sizzling start, Argument one, with evidence, so tell us why. Argument two, with evidence, tell us why. And argument three, with evidence, you need to give us reasons why the reader should believe you. And in conclusion, you need to restate the three arguments or points of view that you have provided and summarize your main argument and end with an exciting ending that your audience will remember. This is an example of a persuasive planning template that you can use. This is a good way for you to brainstorm or think about the ideas that you are going to use to form your arguments. Another part of the success criteria is grammar and vocabulary. You will be successful if you persuade your teacher to agree with your opinion. Use modal verbs such as absolutely, certainly, must, should, should not, must not. Objective and subjective language, facts and opinions. Use a range of noun groups, for example, a man eating great white. And verb and verb groups, capture, put down. Another element is punctuation and editing. You'll be successful if you use the punctuation you know. Try your best to make your writing as neat as possible. Reread and edit your work. Now it is time to check your work. Please look through your text and make sure that you have fulfilled the success criteria. Your text is structured properly. You have punctuation. You have written your, it as neatly as you can and you have spelt the words correctly.